Hey, how you doing? Paddy Milner here from Lockdown London. Um, hope you're staying safe and well wherever you may be. Um, thought I'd put together a quick video about practicing, give you guys some tips. Who knows, maybe some of you are lucky enough to have a little bit more time now to do some practicing. Um, but if not, here are some ideas to keep your practicing on track. So, number one. Regular, unbroken, concentrated practice is so much more effective than cramming it all in on one day. So hey, even if you only do five minutes a day, that's much better than cramming it all in on a Saturday afternoon. Um, it's also important not to have any distractions, so turn that mobile phone off. Number two, warm up. It's so important to treat your practice routine like you would any regular workout. You've got muscles, bones and tendons that are all going to be moving throughout uh, your playing. So uh, do some wrist exercises for starters, maybe just some gentle pushing of the wrists backwards, bending them back, flexing them, nothing too forceful. You could, uh, yeah, change the light bulbs. How about that? Get some rotation going on those wrists. That's a good one. You could do some, uh, some simple finger exercises. So, those kind of things. Um, you, could just, you don't need a piano for those, really. You can just do them, just do them on your knees. Um, you could do doing thirds. Those kind of exercises, there's a million and one of them. Um, you don't want to do anything too demanding. Remember, this is just a warm up to get the blood flowing and get those moving parts warmed up. You might want to do a more musical warm up. So perhaps find a riff or an idea that you're very comfortable, uh, comfortable with, find relatively easy to play. <laughs> something to get those fingers warmed up. Very important. Number three, set some goals for each practice routine. Um, perhaps you want to learn a new riff, a new idea. Um, so perhaps uh, aim to play it three times uh, without making a mistake. And if you do that, try five times or even ten times. And even if you get to the tenth time and you make a mistake the tenth time, start again until you really get it under your fingers and it uh, builds up um, that muscle memory, makes those neural connections um, which will really establish the idea. Number four, use a metronome. Timing is everything, especially when it comes to playing with other musicians. Um, using a metronome really shows up where you're speeding up, where you're slowing down, uh, which is often around points of change. So for example, a change of chord um, or a change of pattern or idea that you're playing. Quick tip with the metronome, rather than have it play on beats one, two, three, and four, have it play on beats two and four. So it's almost like the snare drum uh, of the drummer. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Another tip for improving your timing is to play along with records. Uh, this is a great way of getting inside the music, really sort of feeling the ebb and flow um, of the grooves and the dynamics. Um, and also kind of uh, where, how musicians interact. Um, so for example, not playing over the singer, but um, you know, filling in, filling in the gaps, really listening to what the other instruments are doing. Number five, feedback. This is so important and can really help improve your playing. Uh, there are different ways you can do this. You can do it yourself by filming yourself or recording yourself playing. This way you get a more objective view of what you're uh, doing, which you don't necessarily get when you're playing and you're in, inside the music. Perhaps you've got some trusted friends, other musicians around you who you trust to give a, a, an objective um, and constructive criticism. Uh, the internet's a great place for it too. I generally find it a really encouraging and um, positive environment to, to share your playing. And if you want to get in touch via the Music Guru's tutoring system uh, or via my Facebook uh, Piano Tuition group, um, I'd be very happy to, uh, to answer any questions you might have. So thanks for checking this video out. Uh, good luck with the practicing, good luck with the playing, and can't wait to see you once all this craziness is over. Take care.